The chairman, Dr. Naresh Trehan himself, in an exclusive interview with us, he says there is a shift in trend from COVID-19 years now as more and more people opt for remote consultations while super speciality hospitals uh, look into more intensive or inventive methods of treatment. Supposing there's a patient with heart disease who needs gastroenterologist or a nephrologist or a neuro uh, doctor, they're all there. We always treat the patient as patient of the institution. So that's the basic benefit of an institution of this concept. So Lucknow took off very nicely because people needed it. The next natural word was Patna. So we made one in Patna because Bihar again has 13 uh, crore people, maybe more now. And they don't have this kind of health care. So it has also start, took off very quickly, which we just opened a year ago, less than a year ago. And now the second phase will also come up. Yeah. So, so these are things that are, that, are, that are moving. And on the side, we also, because one of the things I always wanted to do is to provide for the underserved. And Ranchi in Jharkhand, there was an institution where they came to us and said, please help us to create. So we are, we are running... Uh, in, in, in Jhansi and then also in Indore. So we have those smaller units there, but the three we built ourselves, you will see we do it every two years. And now Noida is out of the ground. Now that Patna is taken off, taking off, Noida will be ready and we have more in line. I think we announced Indore already. And then there are many more. So this will keep happening. But like you asked that question, how do you maintain the standard and the quality of people? Make it a deliberate steps. Like these are elephant steps. They are slow, but they are very solid. So I, that's the philosophy. So I'm not into, let's go here, there, everywhere, try to do this, get beds any way you want. No, because then it dilutes your quality and we stand for a certain standard, which we never want to dilute. So that brings my next question, you know, firstly, the standard, the kind of quality that you provide, the size, you know, you will not go and do some 100 bed, 200 bed, it'll be a very, very big size, you know, 400, 500 that you would look at. Uh, so how does this size and maintaining this quality benefit, uh, you know, come in again, once again, it's word of mouth, it's what the patient feels, how, how do you essentially? So, you know, you know, what the ultimate is what the patient wants. The patient wants the best treatment he can get with compassion and with cost as affordable as possible. These are our core values. To deliver that, you need three things. One, you need the infrastructure where I just explained to you how every X number of beds will have an independent air circulation so that there's no cross infection. So that's why our infection rates are lower here than even in Harvard and, and John Hopkins where we, we actually compare it with them. So that is one methodology. The infrastructure has to be made to that quality. Second, the technology that you provide must enable the doctors to give the best. In terms of the data. The, 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 the yes. latest, treatment, latest treatment, it requires upgradation of your insurance. The frontier technology has to be there always. So, and the third is the human capital. That means the doctors, the nurses, the technicians. So they have to have that of that level. So if you can combine these three together, that's what produces the magic what patient wants. So when you say it's word of mouth, yes, because the if, if somebody comes in here and experiences something which they've never seen or experienced before, they'll naturally go and tell other people that you know how they did and everything. And it's a challenging, uh, this sector is very challenging because you have to be 24-7. Uh, so we are there alert and people because of the real fact that people have been with me 25, 30 years from the day I came here. That helps. That helps for them to know what the ethics is, what the quality is required and what effort it takes. So we have 24, 24 hours vigil. So you are getting quality you're producing quality so the next question is how do you upgrade it you know every time i read you know medanda has done this successful <coughs> surgery first in the state first in the country recently you did something with liver so you know this upgradation this medical upgradation how does this uh, innovate how is this innovation something which you always focus on so you take journey in different specialties 
Okay. So we have always been doing a good number of close to 250, 300 liver transplants a year. Okay. These are mostly living donors. Now, our team, liver team, headed by Dr. Soin, is, is, has taken it to the next. We do robotic liver transplants. We do three-way swaps that you, that you were talking about. Yeah. Three-way swaps. This is done not once, many times now. So that there are people whose donor doesn't match them. All right, from one corporate...